Despite having taken classes in VR development and C Sharp at my university, I've never actually successfully completed a game on my own. So what better way to learn how to create a full game than attempting to do it in just three days? Totally not a terrible idea. On day one, my main focus was on art and animation to generate assets and tile sheets. Despite having Photoshop, I opted for this program called Asprite, a $20 pixel art program that significantly facilitated the entire process. I chose Asprite over Photoshop because configuring the latter for pixel art required substantial effort, and I prefer not to become too reliant on software that I don't actually own, even though I receive it free through my school. I also discovered a fantastic color palette on this website called Lowspec, which greatly contributed to creating a cohesive look for the game and enhancing its overall professionalism. For the characters in the background, I decided to pursue a cozy art style with a rage-based play mechanic. I dedicated time to creating a tile sheet, a concept that I wasn't familiar with before the challenge. I ensured that the elements were easily repeatable and utilized Asprite's tool to visualize how my tile looks with many others. The remainder of day one involved adding the animation controller following a pretty good tutorial from Brackies. I started realizing how little I actually knew about Unity and game development and I began to doubt if I could actually get this done in three days. The art was pretty easy to pick up but ending on day one I wasn't really sure how the mechanics would work. On day two, I decided to equip the ducks with a proper weapon. What better choice than the most abundant material known to ducks? Bread. Drawing it took about five minutes, and after implementing the code to spawn the bread in the scene and resolving a few bugs, the combination of the bread firing and the animation actually turned out to be pretty hilarious. To balance the game, I animated and coded a basic shotgun for the chicken. I used a raycast to allow the player to shoot the ducks, a technique that projects a beam and returns whatever game object it collides with. I also added some pretty sweet banjo and the game really felt like it was coming together after that. By day two, I had a pretty solid concept in place, featuring basic movement, shooting mechanics, enemies, and a fun dodge the bread game mechanic that I was honestly quite pleased with. Day three. Day three was undeniably the crunch day. I added the ability to rotate the gun, incorporated sound effects from a free website called Pixabay, and introduced a bullet pickup mechanic. I also created multiple levels with distinct tile maps and different sky backgrounds, all found for free online. Additionally, I created a pretty sweet menu and uh, dubbed the game Quack Attack. Feeling that the levels were becoming a bit repetitive, as a last minute addition with some assistance from Stack Overflow, I enabled the ducks to chase the player, which honestly, chef's kiss was exactly what this game needed on the final levels. Spending approximately about 12 hours straight on the last day, I encountered several bugs during my friend's playtest. But finally, after 72 hours, I had something that not only felt rage-inducing and fun, but also surprisingly cohesive. The various elements from the quirky characters and diverse levels managed to come together in a way that actually quite exceeded my expectations. Anyways, feel free to check it out. It's not perfect and it has a bit of wonkiness, but if you want to give it a try, there's a link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and follow.